Hi people, my name is Janaína, I'm now 35 years old, I'm from Brazil, but now I'm, I'm living in Norway, and right now I am in Oslo, the sun is here, it's a very nice weather outside, and I'm inspired again, it was a long time since the last video, but I'm inspired again and I want to talk about something that is positive. <laughs> I hope to be positive and I'm trying to keep positive. So let's start with that. Is about setting high standards for yourself. You know in other videos I told about a little bit about my story that I was not I didn't have a very happy childhood and I had been abused and I didn't I didn't grow up I didn't learn how to set high standards for myself in my relationships really what happens is that I always try to be my best and I treat people nicely and I try to be the best I can and with the tools I have but uh, the truth is that in the world not everybody is like that. I talk a little bit about my history about narcissists and I feel that I've been around them a lot, I've been raised by them. and. <clears throat> the thing is, not everybody strives to be the best, you know, they can. Not everybody is there thinking about the good of others. So what we can do to avoid being damaged by these people? What I came to conclusion is basically two things. First, there is uh, intuition. There always been the intuition, even though you don't listen to it, you always have this intuition about some people, that they are not good. You can feel it. Your energy doesn't feel like it. It's not, I always, before I felt like it's like prejudice, uh, not including all the people that come about in your life, you know, you just... You just feel like is you being a bad person, not accept everybody. And but that's not true. You have to listen to your intuition. This is the first thing. If you don't feel comfortable with this person, you, you don't have to be fighting, you don't have to argue, you just avoid this person. This situation, this place, this country. Whatever, if you don't feel that you are comfortable, you work towards just leave that situation, leave that person and protect yourself, protect your... <laughs> That's another thing, that for people who have been abused, it's so difficult to, to get it, that you are a person too. You deserve the best. Especially if you're trying to do good and strive to be better. you also a person. And you deserve the best. So, realize that and avoid and listen to your intuition and avoid the bad people. And the second thing, that for people that have low self-esteem, like once I had, and I know a lot of people, I'm still working on it is to set high standards for yourself. You, you have to set high standards, like you are. You are a nice person. You strive to be the best. You're trying to be better. You're trying to learn. You're trying to adapt to the world. If you see some person that is not doing the same, you say sorry excuse this person is not for you that's not the right person for you to be in a relationship that's not the right person to be your friend 
this person is not striving to be the best. This person doesn't give you good energy. This person doesn't make you feel good in the long run. <clears throat> so you set high standards. Uh, I was having, uh, I am working towards separation from my husband. We are living separating and not sleeping together, living in different places. And we were talking about that, uh, but not about deep stuff. And we just, I just feel like I, my husband is a wonderful person, but it's just we are not, not a match. We are not a match to be married anymore. Or I realize that my fault is my fault because we need to set up um, to visualize what you want. N not in a in a place that you are checking what is what you don't want. You have to check to do your list of what I want in a relationship of what you want, not your, what you don't want. So my first relationship, it was a man that was abusive, <clears throat> that didn't care for my needs and who abused literally my children. So for me, in my second relationship, I just settled for someone that didn't hit me, that wasn't uh, verbally abused and it didn't abuse physically my children. And this is a very low bar. You see, I... Uh, you have to realize, I'm a person, I'm a good person, I deserve the best. So you have, to, it's, it's a very low bar, that's what you expect from everyone in your life, that they don't hit you, that they don't abuse you and your children. But for a person that's going to be with you, you need them to be aspiring. You need to be motivated by them. You need to to feel the motivation to every day strive to be better with them. It's not only that they don't hit you. You see? In the beginning, it might be enough, but then in the long run, you want someone that will motivate you to do better in life. And then I realized and when I was talking to my husband and I said, maybe I'm a good person, I'm a beautiful woman, I'm striving to be better, I'm trying to do the best for everybody. I am responsible, I am good. I'm just talking this and I'm realizing that, well, yeah, I am all that. And maybe I am so good, so good, that I deserve to be by myself, alone, to figure out what I want, than just this low bar that I set for my relationship. So we are working on that. It's not that my husband did anything. He didn't do anything. But he didn't. he's a great person. He's a great father for my children. But I realized that we are so different politically, we are so different in personality, we are so different in everything else. So I feel like <clears throat> I should set this, I have to have the time to set this high standard for myself. And that's why we're separating and working on living separated and and maybe we're both going to be a lot happier. So before you get, if you're not married, if before you get married, if you are trying to, you are a good person and trying to be a good person, stop concentrating and focusing on what you don't want and set a high standard for yourself and focus on what you do want, you do deserve, 
and what you are good. If you are good, you deserve the best. So, I hope I've been very positive. I'm feeling like that. I feel I do the correct decision and I have a lot of plans and dreams for the future with my business, with my life and I just hope to inspire people. <laughs> so have a nice day and until I get inspired again for a new video. Beijing news. Bye bye.